No one would believe it if it wasn't caught on camera. Thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. I want you to know that no one had less to do with this award than Jesus. <laughs> he didn't help me a bit. If it was up to him, Caesar Milan would be up here with that damn dog. In entertainment, acceptance speeches at award shows have often become platforms for celebrities to express gratitude for various influences in their lives. While it's common to hear thanks directed towards family, friends and mentors, some celebrities have taken a more provocative route by thanking the devil or invoking satanic imagery. On behalf of Amy, I'd like to um, thank the devil and all the dark lords who Don't do the devil stuff. gave her this award. Don't do the devil stuff. Satan is depicted as a being who desires worship and praise, as seen in his original sin of wanting the glory reserved for God alone. When people praise Satan, they inadvertently contribute to his agenda, which seeks to undermine God's creation and lead people away from truth and righteousness. This video explores notable instances where individuals have publicly acknowledged the devil during their speeches and performances, the reactions that followed, and the broader cultural implications of such statements. Let's dive in. Christian Bale at the Golden Globes. One of the most infamous instances occurred at the 76th Golden Globe Awards in 2019, when actor Christian Bale won the award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture, musical or comedy for his portrayal of Dick Cheney in Vice. So we gonna do this thing or what? Is this happening? During his acceptance speech, Bale humorously thanked Satan. His comment was a tongue-in-cheek jab at Cheney and the film's director, Adam McKay, who had sought someone to embody a character described as absolutely charisma-free and reviled by everybody, a description Bale embraced with irony. Thank you to that geezer over there, Adam. He said, he said, uh, he said I've got to find somebody who can, who can be absolutely charisma-free and reviled by everybody, so he went, that's got to be Bale in it, you know. Thank you, and uh, for all the competition, I will be uh, cornering the market on uh, Charisma Free Up. What do you think? Mitch McConnell next? That could be good, couldn't it? Um, uh, thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. The Church of Satan even responded positively to Bale's remarks, tweeting, To us, Satan is a symbol of pride, liberty and individualism, and it serves as an external metaphorical projection of our highest personal potential. As Mr. Bale's own talent and skill won him the award, this is fitting. Hail Christian, hail Satan. This reaction highlighted how Bale's comment resonated with certain cultural narratives surrounding individualism and rebellion against societal norms. However, it also sparked controversy particularly from figures like Liz Cheney, who criticized Bale's past behavior in light of his comments about Satan. She wrote on X, Satan probably inspired him to do this too. Usher's NAACP Image Awards speech. In March 2024, Usher received the prestigious President's Award at the 55th NAACP Image Awards, recognizing his significant contributions to music and the community. However, his acceptance speech unexpectedly sparked controversy when a content creator accused him of nearly thanking the devil. During his heartfelt speech, Usher expressed gratitude for the support he received throughout his career, particularly from the women in his life, including his mother. While speaking, he stumbled over his words, saying, I'm very honored to receive this award from the dev, from the depths of my soul. But it's good, it's, uh, it beats with passion. And um, I'm very honored to be able to receive this amazing award from the, from, from the depths of my soul. This verbal slip led Mark Hanala, a content creator, to claim that Usher almost said devil instead of depths. In a video posted on Instagram, Hanala suggested that Usher was about to thank the devil on live television 
and questioned why no one was discussing it. Kathy Griffin at the 2007 Creative Arts Emmy Awards. Kathy Griffin made headlines during her acceptance speech at the 2007 Creative Arts Emmy Awards when she stated, A lot of people come up here and they thank Jesus for this award. I want you to know that no one had less to do with this award than Jesus. <laughs> he didn't help me a bit. If it was up to him, Caesar Milan would be up here with that damn dog. <laughs> so all I can say is, suck it, Jesus, this award is my God now. This provocative remark was intended as a humorous critique of the typical acceptance speeches that often include religious gratitude, but it sparked a significant backlash from various religious groups, particularly the Catholic League, which condemned her comments as obscene and blasphemous. Griffin's speech was heavily censored in the broadcast version of the awards, reflecting the controversy surrounding her remarks. Despite the backlash, Griffin stood by her comments, stating, I hope I offended some people. I didn't want to win the Emmy for nothing. She emphasized her comedic style and willingness to push boundaries. Red Hot Chili Peppers During the 1992 MTV Video Music Awards, the Red Hot Chili Peppers made a memorable statement that showcased their irreverent style and willingness to embrace controversial themes. When accepting the award for Best Art Direction in a video for Under the Bridge, lead singer Anthony Kiedis opened their speech with the words, first of all, we want to thank Satan. Uh, there's just, I, I'd like to, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Satan. I'd like to thank Louis Armstrong. I'd like to thank Neil Young. I'd like to thank the Rollins Band. I'd like to thank Bob Marley. I'd like to thank the Marx Brothers. I'd like to thank Salvador Dali. I'd like to thank Louis Brunel. I'd like to thank Miles Davis. I'd like to say, thank uh, the Parliament Funkadelic. And uh, I'd like to thank you too. This bold declaration immediately turned heads and highlighted the band's rock rebel persona. The reaction to Kiedis' remark was mixed. Many fans appreciated the humor and boldness of the statement, seeing it as part of the band's rebellious spirit. However, conservative groups and religious organizations were not amused. They accused the Red Hot Chili Peppers of being aligned with dark forces and using their platform to promote negative influences. One notable response came from Kiedis' devout Christian grandmother, who reportedly expressed her disappointment over his joke. In his autobiography, Scar Tissue, Kiedis recounted having to reassure her that he wasn't a Satanist after she threatened to disown him. Lil Nas X at the BET Awards. Lil Nas X stirred up conversations during his performance at the 2021 BET Awards when he incorporated themes of sexuality and self-acceptance, which some interpreted as a challenge to traditional norms. While he did not explicitly thank the devil, his stage presence and visuals included imagery associated with rebellion against societal expectations. This led to discussions about whether his boldness could be seen as an implicit acknowledgement of darker influences in pop culture, particularly given his earlier music video for Montero, Call Me By Your Name, which featured him dancing with the devil. Madonna's Rebel Heart Tour. Madonna's Rebel Heart Tour, which ran from September 2015 to March 2016, was a significant event in her career showcasing her unique blend of music, art, and provocative themes. This tour was not just about performing songs, it was a bold statement about identity, sexuality, and challenging societal norms. In one memorable moment, she playfully referenced darker themes in her music, which some interpreted as a nod to the devil, emphasizing her rebellious spirit. This comment was emblematic of her career-long challenge to conventional morality through her art, showcasing how she uses imagery and symbolism to provoke thought and discussion. Ozzy Osbourne's Legacy 
While not a specific instance of thanking the devil on stage, Ozzy Osbourne's entire persona is steeped in devilish imagery and themes. Throughout his career, especially during performances with Black Sabbath, he has often embraced dark themes in his music and stage presence. Osborne has famously referred to himself as the Prince of Darkness, which has led fans and critics alike to interpret his work as both a celebration and critique of darker influences in rock music. His legacy continues to spark debates about the role of such themes in popular culture. The Bible emphasizes that worship should be directed solely towards God. When individuals praise Satan, they are effectively aligning themselves with evil and rejecting the divine authority of God. This is evident in verses like Matthew 4.10, where Jesus states that one should worship the Lord alone. These instances highlight how references to the devil can serve as powerful symbols in entertainment, often provoking thought and dialogue about morality, fame, and personal identity. We hope that the insights we have provided sparked your curiosity and offered new perspectives about these celebrities. We value your thoughts and opinions, so please don't hesitate to share them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our content, Remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future videos. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.